I don't think I really noticed it as much um, how how bad the school really didn't care about students mental health in general until I had a situation come up. My friend took her life and I remember bringing the fundraiser to my school and asking the principals and the staff if they would donate for her family. And I remember that kind of just struck me, the response of them not, they didn't even want anything to do with it really. And now to a 13 Wham exclusive, a Penfield school facing backlash from some parents over changes to its student handbook. As Matt Malloy reports, the new policy from the Charles Finney School says it reserves the right to disenroll LGBTQ students. So I do, um, a couple friends of mine um, were not out at the time. There was uh, some speculation, I think, and, you know, teachers would definitely say in front of them very inappropriate things um, that you would hope that nobody would have those views, but especially saying that to children. And, you know, I've, you know, I had heard specifically an English teacher, you know, tell, say in front of the class, oh, no, those kind of people go to hell and just terrible, terrible things in front of all the students, but affect, affecting those kids especially. Oh, that wasn't a thing. Like, that wasn't allowed. Like, you weren't allowed to be gay at all. Um, that's what was taught. And you were especially not, like, trans and on the LGBTQ community or anything, any type of alternative, what they would call an alternative lifestyle. I did see other students being talked to for instances of um, behaviors that teachers deem too feminine. Um, I had a friend uh, who had his hair long, um, and the principal made him cut it. With faculty, there was definitely a bias. I feel like you felt it. Like even in classes, I'd raise my hand. I won't get looked at. A student that wasn't person of color raised their hand and they, they'll get called on before I do or stuff like that that happened more times and not more times. So it's a visible trend really. But then like even with dress code and stuff like that, like you see some white kids get away with wearing their hood up which is, is not a bad thing, but it wasn't allowed, you know? And, and when me or students that look like me would do the same things, it's like we get called out instantly before, like as soon as we even, it's like as soon as we think about doing it, we're getting called out for it. And it's like little things like that, that over, like in the moment, you don't really like notice really. But then once you really get somewhere where it's like not normal to be like a different type of way than what should be acceptable, you, you notice the differences in this, and it's astounding, honestly. I think any kind of like independent thought, any of the kids have is kind of like immediately shut down by the teachers because um, I know for me that some of the students, their families were not religious. They just kind of thought like, oh, maybe this would be a good school or, you know, X, Y, and Z reason for sending them to a private school. So I know sometimes some of the kids kind of came in with their own um, different viewpoints. And anytime those would kind of come up, a teacher would kind of like immediately shut them down say like, no, you're wrong. And kind of wipe it there and try to like mold their opinion like in the way they think is fit. I mean they hired teachers specifically um, based on faith rather than their um, educational credentials. Well I really felt like they just kind of sheltered me. Um, what we would encounter, the other people, um, the other things that are taught. 
like other other opinions or how the earth was created and stuff like that. It was very strict and rigid at the school. Like you have to think this way or you're not Christian. Um, I can see how people thought that our school was like cultish. There was definitely like the teachers instilled arrogance in a lot of the students that were like straight, white, um, played sports, good in school. Like there was a lot of arrogance instilled in them, thinking that they were like the best that there could be. Throughout my experience at the school, I really struggled and just not even, not even regards to my friend, but just me. Like they didn't have any sympathy for me or like. I remember my family tried to kind of intervene and say, like, you know, Mackenzie needs these supports at this school, and I, they, they didn't give, give them to me because they didn't want to have anything to do with mental health or stuff like that. Just, they did not want any professional, like, mental health to be done, no, you know, no therapy or counseling or medication. They wanted to kind of handle it, like, in-house. Um, so at the time I was struggling with a really bad eating disorder, and so I had a lot of medical issues that came along with that, like being underweight, and I was hospitalized for a majority of my high school time. The staff at this school, um, was, they, they weren't really willing to continue my education. Um, I needed to be tutored because I was in the hospital, obviously. And I remember they gave a hard time, like even just sending the homework over to the tutors for me to complete it so that I could graduate and, you know, get my education. It, I remember one situation where I, well, it was like a few times actually. I would, I get so like anxious in school and like eating lunch in the cafeteria. I would like go into the bathroom to get my lunch. And so I remember um, on the loudspeaker, they ended up calling my name because they were like looking for me. And everybody, all the staff knew that, you know, I was like struggling a lot at the time. And I remember like, this happened a few times. They like called my name over the loudspeaker and they're like, Mackenzie, like come, come to the office. Like, where are you? Basically type of a thing. And I like here am I like a mess like just I'm trying to like get through the school day eating lunch in, in the bathroom and I like that's just I mean to me that just shows that I like if you have to eat lunch in the bathroom because you don't feel safe like at a school where like nobody really wants to understand you like it just it's hard.